Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and a user said, Hey, do you have a tutorial for an obelisk? I've got an idea. So let's get cracking. Friends, a little bit of history first. This is an obelisk. They were created in Egypt. They are pretty cool. They were chiseled out of one piece of stone. So that is one of the cool things about them. Friends, I've got an idea for how to make one in Tinkercad where we can kind of make it seem like we made it out of one piece of stone as well. Friends, the first step obviously is to go to Tinkercad. I'm going to name it Obelisk. You can put your initials after it if you want. I always put mine there just so I can keep track of it. Friends, we're going to build with this shape on top. It is a pyramid. It comes with a size 2020. That's going to be fantastic. Let me show you how we're going to make it work for us. Instead of basic shapes, I want you to go to the new shape generators location. I want you to choose all and we need to click more and more and more and more. Keep clicking more until you find the double trapezoid. When you bring this out, we need to make a square shape and the top has to be 20 by 20. So boom, we've got that solved for us. So let's go to the top numbers and make it 20 and make the other top 20. So that way it is a square shape but then at the base, let's go 60 and 60 and see what we think. So this is pretty wide and pretty steep. Let's change the height to the max of 140. Those are not good numbers. So instead of 60, let's try 40 and 40 and see if that looks more like an obelisk. Now that is close. It might not be steep enough. I'm going to real quickly take a peek at 30 and 30 and press enter friends just like that you have an obelisk with a 30 by 30 base and a 20 by 20 top one of my favorite things now is to set the pyramid on top hit your work plane click the top click the pyramid press d to drop it to the exact height i'm going to put the work plane back on the ground select the two of them choose a line click on the main tower and center it and center it. Notice I missed, no big deal, just hit a line and give it one more shot. Friends, we have just almost instantly built an obelisk. I'm going to take this and I'm gonna make it a group and then we're gonna do one more really cool thing with it. So first, let's go back to basic shapes and let's bring out a large cube. And we want to make sure that this cube is larger than what we just built. Just like that. Now I'm going to look underneath and I want to make the obelisk a hole. I'm going to do select all and click align. And I want them to be centered and centered. And I'm going to group them. Friends, what we just did was we made a mold for an obelisk. We're going to turn that into a hole so you can see it even cooler. All right, friends, so here's where it gets unbelievably cool. I want you to switch to design starters. And Mrs. Ross Davis shared this with me. If you click more shapes and more shapes and more shapes, you can get all the way down to this fun gradient. Click it again and again and again. I'm going to hit it just in case there's other options. You can see there are three to play with. I'm going to take this one because it goes up and down. I think that'll be cooler with our project. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to stretch it all the way up, making sure that it fits inside. And then I'm going to use the black handle to make it go that way and that way so it fits in. So I want it totally inside my shape. Once I get it aligned, I can squeeze it down and squeeze it down. Friends, if we select all that, I'm going to do a line just to make sure I got it. Pop, pop. And if we do group, all of a sudden, we will have an amazing multicolor obelisk. How fun is that? Real quickly, friends, I'm going to ungroup that one. And I want to take my template and do Control D. I'm going to do Shift Nudge to move it across. And watch this. If we bring out this one, we can stand it up. So there's a 90 degree rotation. Notice I stayed inside this circle so it turned 22 and a half degrees at a time. And then once again, I'm gonna just use the black handles to make sure it fits inside and inside. 
Notice it is below zero, so I'm going to hit D to drop it to the work plane. And then once I've got it so it fits, we'll raise it up. And let's see how this one works as well. Click a line, and let's do center, and center, and group. A rainbow obelisk. Friends, this is an awesome skill. I, I totally appreciate Mrs. Ross Davis sharing it with us. It is a lot of fun. Once again, it is on Design Starters. If you want to get back to your basic shapes, there you are. So friends, you've learned a couple things, how to make an obelisk and how to use the sweet gradients under Design Starters. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.